How lovely. The true expression of platonic love is essential to any great theatrical reproduction. Anyway, since we last saw him, Oliver has been taken by a primary couple, the wood woman he didn't steal from, and an equally kind husband who lived in a luxurious mansion with everything you want Oliver could want. Sorry, sir. Ah, good morning, old boy. How are you feeling? That was quite a nasty fall you had in the courthouse. Fall? Did I faint? Oh, yes. The judge sentenced you to hand to set an example for the other pickpockets, and you dropped to the floor faster than Mr. Fallon in a dance-off. I'm for you. A witness told the judge that it wasn't you who stole my purse, so he let you go. You had no friends or family at the court, so we took you home to look after, seeing as we were the ones to falsely accuse you in the first place. What are these? There is oil on your threads, my young boy. Now that you're one of us rich folk, you need to learn to drop it like it's hot. Jeez, <laughs> the dance! taking me in like this, but I should really be getting back to my friends. They'll be wondering where I've gone. Oliver, your friends are poor. You're rich now, so you don't have to hang around with the lower class scum. Yeah, Oliver, we're minted. I mean, my watch is made of gold-plated gold. We have Sky 3D on a 300-inch plasma. All the same, I really think I should be getting back. Xbox Kinetics, seven Ferraris, two Porsches, and a heap load of cash in the back that you can just roll around in. <laughs> And there's Jeeves. Watch this. Jeeves, cut my egg. Yes, sir. Your egg is cut, sir. Cut my wine. I can't, sir. That's a liquid. Freeze it, <laughs> then cut it. I don't think alcohol freezes, sir. For your information, although wine is a water-based solution, the water will freeze at zero degrees. The pure ethanol will freeze at minus seven, idiot. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Minus seven degrees, sir. I'm such a fool. <laughs> he will literally do anything you want. I mean, the other week I made him count all the blades of grass. In the garden? Of course not. In Hyde Park. I should think so too. Well, maybe I will say then. I mean, who needs friends when you've got money? Precisely, Oliver. Now, come on, let's go and get you some money to cushion your pockets. We can't have you walking around the stage with empty pockets. Now where's that butler with my cut wire? Jeeves, Jeeves. Yes, sir. Did you ring the repairman about the broken fireplace? I feel common sat here without my roaring fire. I rang them a while ago, sir. But you know what they're like? They take half a year to build a uh, to build a path, and then they build a wall that's bigger than the Majesty's prison. <laughs> Broken, you say? Have a look at that, man. Ooh. See what your problem is. It's, uh, it's painted on there. <laughs> look. look, coming off in his hand. Oh, it's all falling down now. Look at that. I mean, have a look outside, man. Have a look. See what's found there. 
Yeah, there's an outside too. There's an outside. Like <laughs> what we can do for you? Knock the walls down. RJ Essen. What? New stud work. New floorboards. Replaster. Semi permeable membrane. Then we can knock down your house and start again for you. The whole thing will have to be redone. Whole thing. Because the Joker, the comedian, who put that thing in for you. I mean, he wants to be strung up, he does. You want to paint all his light bulbs black so he trips over all his furniture. Now you're thinking, Lance, now you're thinking. See, he wants to be killed, buried alive, murdered. Uh, you want to temporarily distract his attention and grog in his lasagna. That's it. <laughs> That's good, Lance, good. I mean, because of the Joker, the comedian, it's going to cost you a lot of money. I mean, who done that? Who done that? Who done that? It wasn't us, was it? Right, Jeeves, I've had enough. Who are these men? Sorry, sir. QE2 recommended them. Seems everything is going nicely for Oliver, but still, there are underlying emotions of attachment to his friends. On the other hand, the criminal gang misses him in a much more violent way. I do feel, Dan, that any anti-pain in things people like ours must have such a reflection upon the divergence of interest within its power base. Agreed, Austin? I, be I believe uh, Adam has a valid point of view, Dan. In fact, I believe it's the right of every man, or woman, or, or woman, to, uh, to rid himself, or herself, or, or herself of, um, what was I saying? Oh, you finished. Oh, right, okay. Uh, furthermore, it's a pick up and code of every man, or woman. Shut up about women, Scott. What's your problem? Women have the perfect right to play a part in the pick up and code, Dan. I know that, but why do you always go on about women, Scott? Well, I want to be one. What? <laughs> I want to be a woman. Why? Well, I want to have babies. You can't have babies? God, don't, don't try and impress me. I'm not impressing it. You haven't got a womb. Where's the fetus going to gestate? <laughs> you idiot. Here, I, I have an idea. Suppose Scott can't actually have babies, not having a womb and all. Which is nobody's fault. Not even <laughs> But, um, as a pickpocket, he could have the right to have babies. What's the point? What do you mean, what's the point? It's symbolic of our rebellion against the establishment. It's symbolic of picking up his like, struggle against reality. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, man, yeah. Wasn't he big last time? Yeah, he's a vicious killer machine, I watch him. <laughs> We've got to get him back! He never goes out alone, you know that! Don't you answer me back, girl! Three days since I've seen him, and what have you done about it, eh? Hey, nothing, that's what! We're gonna get him back, now who's coming? Suppose it'll have to be me and Shut Bob. your trap, Dadja! You've caused enough trouble already. It's gotta be done quiet. No fuss. Someone who's got the boys confidence. Nancy, my dear. What do you say? No, it's no good you trying it on with me. And what do you mean by that remark? What I say? I'm not going! Why can't you just leave him alone? Where he'll have a chance at a decent life! You do as I bloody well say, woman! Before I put my hand round your throat! <laughs> <laughs> Nancy, my dear, we must try and get that boy back. Think what's happened to us. To Bill. It'd be the gallows for him. Drop! You wouldn't want that now, would you, my dear? No, she'll go, Fagin! No, she won't, Fagin! She will, Fagin! I'll drag it there myself if I have to. Excuse me. Who are you? I'm the narrator. <laughs> right. Oh, I was just... I couldn't help but hit over here. I'm having a bit of trouble getting all the back. I suppose so, yes? Ooh, I was just thinking if you could slip me 20 shillings and we could sort something out. <laughs> Fagin, get the man some money. <laughs> Did you shake it? Right. right, yes. Now what? Uh, exit to the sides. I speak. <laughs> right, goodbye. Oh, right. <laughs> Did we get a big stop? 
Croquet and cucumber sandwiches penciled in for this afternoon. I'll be right back. <laughs> 